Hi, ready to add other items to a price list? CounterGo price lists allow you to add items that are not already built in. From the left side navigation, click on Price Lists, then the name of the price list to modify. Click the Edit Price List button to make changes. Click on Other Items, then Add Other Item. There are two types of other items you can choose from. The first is an item or list of items with a single fixed price, like faucets. The second is a unit priced item, something that has a range of fees, like tearouts or mileage. Let's add one of each type, starting with a single price item. Name the other item, then look at the available options to add. Hide Unquote will include a gray line item for you to see in step six, but will not show when printing or emailing your quote or order. Always include this item on quote will automatically add this line item to every quote so you won't forget to add it later. Allow Discount will allow this item to be discounted if one is applied to the quote. Editable Price on Quote means that the price can be manually changed in step six. After the item is created, add any nested items using the Add option, then enter the prices. Apply a tax code if necessary. Time to add a unit priced other item. Enter a name, then enter what the unit of measure the total price should be calculated with. I'm adding a tear out fee based on square footage of the material to be removed. Unit priced other items have similar additional options except for including the item on every quote since the price can vary. Once the item is added, click Add Size to add ranges and prices. The first price box, each, refers to a base fee that applies to any number of units. When you don't need a base fee, enter zero. The second box is the price per unit, in this case, square feet. Time to save the price list and add these new charges to a quote. Go to Step 6 of Quote or Order and click the Add icon next to any area. Select from the drop-down list. I'll add a faucet, choose a model number, and leave it in the area named Kitchen. Click the Add icon again to add the tear-out charge. Enter the total square footage of the tear-out and select the area to be None. By selecting None, this item is placed in a separate area. If you have questions, the CounterGo Knowledge Base has lots of helpful articles and videos. Or email one of our friendly CounterGo experts at support at moreaware.com. Thanks for stopping by.